it's Delta249er here with a follow-up tutorial on how to set up the Citec Pro Flight Throttle Quadrant 4 throttle flaps and spoilers. So a lot of people were having trouble with this. Um, the null zones were not setting correctly and that caused the throttle to only go down to 1% and up to 99%. And basically that's a problem because when you're on a taxiway, there's someone in front of you, you don't want to be moving. Uh, and you have it on idle, you think you have it on idle, but really it's at 1%. And 99% um, is a problem when you're taking off because you need it at 100% sometimes, so like you sometimes could not take off and it was kind of a pain. Um, so basically, you cannot fix it in the flight simulator program itself, but um, you have to go into a file and change a value. So even if you tried to put it at zero, it didn't go to zero. So basically, just close Flight Simulator. And uh, hold on one second. There we go. And in your start menu, type percent app data percent, and click roaming. Then go to Microsoft FSX <coughs> controls, and right click standard, click edit. And then you're going to scroll down and see where it says Logitech Extreme 3D, you're going to look for Satec Pro Flight Throttle Quadrant. And mine is down pretty far. Um, this also works for the yoke, so the same value you're going to change um, just on the yoke, under the yoke uh, category. So see it says Satec Pro Flight Throttle Quadrant, some numbers, and then name, blah, blah, blah. Um, you want to find where it says Axis Throttle Set and you want to change the AX null here this thing right here the number to zero and you want to save it and that's all you have to do it should work um, so yeah if you have any questions you can leave those below and make sure you leave a like if this worked or you found this helpful um, and if you're new to the channel if you haven't already subscribed make sure you subscribe